Hello. Okay, this video is about not exactly solving these problems, but about using the units you're given to help you solve problems. So it's a really good workaround. If you learn the units of things, it tells you how to solve the problem. The unit tells you itself. So here are two examples. They're task my questions where you're asked, in this case, to find the density of this cube, and in this case, to find the uh, speed or velocity of this car, let's say speed in this case. Um, so let's start with density. Now I know, because I've learned it, that the unit of density is in grams per centimeter cubed. I mean, you can go kilograms per meter cubed or whatever, but it amounts to the same thing. Grams per cubic centimeter. Now if you have that knowledge, it tells you everything else you need to do, because this here is a division sum. So you're going to say, what are you measuring in grams? Mass. And what are you measuring in centimeters cubed? Volume. You're going to do mass divided by volume. So let's do it. The mass of the cube is 16 grams. So density is mass over volume, which is 16 grams. And what's the volume? Well, we've only got the length of a side. So that's where a lot of people go wrong with this question. They divide by two. Well, that's only the side. The volume is two times two times two. That's eight centimeters cubed, which is 16 divided by 8, 2 grams per centimeter cube. Couldn't be easier, but using the unit tells you how to do the sum, and that's the real thing I want you to get want to get across to you. Same here, we want the speed of this car, which, by the way, awesome drawing, huh? Um, we know that the speed is measured in kilometers per hour. You could do meters per second as well, but we're talking about a car, so kilometers per hour. So we're going to need to say speed is distance over time, well I'm going to run out of room, I'm going to take another line. So the distance is in kilometers and the time is in hours because that's what the unit is leading us to do. So distance in kilometers is easy, we're told the car goes 45 kilometers. But the distance, the time in hours is a bit harder because we've been told it takes 50 minutes. Well it's 50 sixtieths of an hour. Hopefully that makes sense. A minute is a sixtieth of an hour, so 50 sixtieths. So if you do all of that, actually, uh, you might need a calculator, but you can kind of reason it through. You're going to end up with 54 kilometers per hour. Now, the answer is not important. The answer is never important. The method is what counts. Using your units to tell you the method for the sum is the key, I think, to so much in maths and so much in physics and chemistry too. So I hope that was helpful. Please use this idea in other problems, not just the question that follows. Thanks very much for watching.